Hey, your eye's all better. What do you care? Listen, I know things have been getting a little tense around here lately. Well, what do you say we put it all behind us, let bygones be bygones, and start all over again, okay? Just don't hurt me anymore. Of course not. All right. Hello, and welcome to another Astro One video presentation. Today we're going to be talking about one of the densest objects in the universe, pulsars. Here to help me as always is my assistant, Steven. Pulsars form when massive stars begin to fuse iron in their cores. Unlike lighter elements, iron actually absorbs energy when it begins to fuse. Because of this, after massive stars fuse their nuclei up to the point of iron, all fusion stops. Suddenly, the pressure support that nuclear fusion provided disappears, and the star collapses due to its own weight. Think hydrostatic equilibrium. Explosively losing its outer layers in a supernova event. Remember when we demonstrated the conservation of angular momentum? Hmm. Now watch what happens as he pulls his arms in. Oh. <laughs> Due to conservation of angular momentum, the collapsing core will spin faster as it collapses. If a star starts out between four and eight solar masses, the collapse won't end until the star's electrons and protons combine to form neutrons. The resulting object, what astronomers call a neutron star, is composed almost entirely of neutrons and is about the size of a city. Even if the star wasn't originally spinning very fast, it has now shrunk so much that it is spinning very quickly about once every second. As massive stars collapse into neutron stars, their magnetic fields intensify, causing neutron stars to give off radio waves at their magnetic poles. If these beams of radiation sweep across the Earth as a pulsar spins rapidly around, astronomers can detect these rapid pulses in their radio signals. To demonstrate this, I'll step up onto the platform to demonstrate the collapse of a star into a pulsar. As the star collapses, it begins to spin faster. Pulsars give off a beam of radiation along their magnetic poles. Oh, my eye! Remind you of anything? It really hurts! Pulsars are often compared to lighthouses, and this model of how a pulsar works is known as the lighthouse model. I can't see! Well, that concludes another Astro One video presentation. See you next Whoa. time! <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about one of the most densest objects in the universe, pulsars. Here to help me as always is my assistant, Stephen. Pulsars form when massive stars do something. <laughs> you also said most densest. Did I? You did. 